Hi, I'm Molly Hickman, and I'm going to talk about our paper, Understanding Wikipedia Practices Through Hindi, Urdu, and English Takes on Evolving Regional Conflict. I undertook this work with my fellow Virginia Tech master's students, Viral Passad and Harsh Sangavi, as well as Jacob Thebolt Speaker, now a professor at the iSchool at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and Sangwan Lee, a professor at Virginia Tech. So, bottom line up front, Wikipedia aims to have articles fairly represent controversial topics. And it's especially important that articles are updated quickly and malicious edits are caught as events warrant. In smaller language editions, like Hindi and Urdu, language editions of Wikipedia, it's a challenge to keep articles both current and neutral. And we'll talk about what neutral means. With some exceptions, in our study we found that across language editions, editors were quick to respond to breaking news events and problematic edits, and they strove to uphold Wikipedia's core tenet of neutral point of view, but results varied. So I'm going to walk us through the background of this work, the methods we used, and just two of our results, and then conclude. We compared five articles across three language editions of Wikipedia. Uh, we chose the controversial topic of the conflict in Jammu and Kashmir, and three language editions, Hindi, Urdu, and English. So Jammu and Kashmir, for those who don't know, this is a conflict over this territory that abuts Pakistan to the west and India to the south. Um, Urdu is the national language of Pakistan, and Hindi is very widely spoken in India. English is a prominent secondary language in both countries. Pakistan and India each only control a part of the territory, but both claim it in its entirety. The conflict began in 1947. There have been several armed conflicts over the territory, um, and the conflict continues to this day. Jammu and Kashmir is an important international conflict, and how it's reflected on Wikipedia matters. It affects how people regionally understand the events related to the conflict. So in the paper, we did a few things. We looked at the correlation between page views and edits on each article in all three language editions. We compared the content of the articles across languages to assess neutral point of view. We conducted semi-structured interviews with editors of the articles, people who had edited them in the recent past, and we looked at proportion of anonymous edits on each article, and also editorship overlap across languages, Hindi, Urdu, English. So in the paper, we do a lot more to unpack this, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to talk about two questions. How quickly do editors respond to events related to the conflict? That's that correlation between page views and edits. And then how is the conflict characterized differently across language editions? That's that article content comparison. Three fundamental characteristics of neutral point of view are giving due weight to each viewpoint, uh, keeping your tone impartial. Wikipedia asks you to describe disputes but not engage in them. And you want to watch your words. Don't use expressions that are flattering, disparaging, vague, or cliched. Or, and this is important to our topic, that endorse a particular point of view. So, first up, the correlation between page views and edits. How responsive are editors to new events related to the articles? A uh, quick history lesson. Article 370 of the Constitution of India is going to be important for us to understand. It was passed in 1954, and it granted Jammu and Kashmir this status of semi-autonomous region. It was partly exempted from the Constitution. However, on August 5th, 2019, this Reorganization Act was passed by the Indian Parliament, which revoked Article 370, and this had a bunch of implications. We used page views as a proxy for events that the audience for a particular language edition saw as significant to the topic of an article. So for instance, that we're just looking here at daily page views on the English version of Article 370 of the Constitution of India, and two events stand out. We have Pulwama attack, which we'll talk about a little later, and unsurprisingly, the revocation of Article 370 on August 5th. 
And there were a million views on August 5th alone on this English version of the article. So it matters how quickly editors respond, and, right? Because people are going to these pages for context on the event. So that's what the English looked like. What about the Hindi? There's an order of magnitude difference, but a very similar pattern in page views. The Urdu, a little bit different. Um, there were never many more than 100 views on any given day. And there's also a difference on the Urdu um, in terms of which events were seen as significant. So now this orange line, now we're looking at edits per day. And on August 5th alone, on the English edition, there were 100 edits. And some of these may have been malicious edits, but editors are responding immediately to this new piece of news that's very important to this article, this Wikipedia article. On the Hindi version, 100,000 people visited the page on August 5th, um, but the article was still in flux. There were four edits on August 5th and five a few days later. On the Urdu version, there were never more than two edits a day. Um, and the, the article n never saw as comprehensive a treatment of the event as the Hindi version or the English. So next, let's talk about article content. How neutral point of view are the articles? How the conflict is characterized varied across languages. In, we're going to look at the Kashmir conflict articles in English, Hindi, and Urdu. The English one characterized it as uh, primarily between India and Pakistan. Same with Hindi. The Urdu, uh, interestingly, said it's a dispute between Pakistan, India, and Kashmiri freedom fighters. And this was typical of the Urdu articles. They, they centered Kashmiri freedom fighters and treated them as a, a, pretty much an equal third party to the dispute. We did find some examples of charged language in the articles in our corpus. For example, in this Hindi version of the article about the Kashmir conflict, uh, it says, why is Kashmir not happy? And uh, all the rest love India. So this is language, this violates that directive to use impartial tone. This is a blatant endorsement of, of India. And incidentally, this 2% figure is not, you don't see that anywhere in international media. We also saw discrepancies in information across articles. For instance, in the article about the Pulwama attack, this was an incident in Kashmir that happened in February of 2019. Uh, the English article says this was a Pakistan-based Islamist militant group and names the group. The Hindi, on the other hand, calls them Pakistani terrorists. Whereas the Urdu article just said a terrorist attack, didn't name the attacker, um, didn't say there was any affiliation with Pakistan. So let's zoom out for a second. Uh, free access to unbiased information like you find, like you expect on Wikipedia, is extremely powerful. It's no wonder that researchers like us and uh, information seekers and adversarial editors and great editors alike are drawn to Wikipedia. Um, editors from all three language editions responded fairly quickly to new events and problematic edits, with some exceptions. The articles do differ across language editions in how they represent the conflict, and this may be a side effect of the scale differences we described, but it points to the need for additional computational support for smaller language editions. The editors we spoke to, now we didn't get to talk about the interview results today, but the editors we spoke to all shared a passion for Wikipedia and saw themselves as stewards of neutral information. And there is a lot more information in the paper, which we hope you will read. All our code is available on GitHub. Pause to read some reasons you might like to use it. And with that, I will say thank you so much. Uh, and please feel free to reach out. We would love to hear from you.